What is going on guys, this video today is just going to be talking about Raw last night, of course the Raw after Wrestlemania is always a fun time, and you know what, last night's Raw wasn't the best Raw, but it had its great moments, and you know what, that made up for some of the just eh stuff, so honestly, I looked at last night's Raw with no problems coming out of it, because you know what, what we got, the great stuff, was like I said, great, so there's nothing, well there, in those aspects, there's nothing to complain about, and I was happy with last night's Raw, so the main point of this video is of course just the the plethora of the new talent that has really taken over like the WWE. I mean, not only just the specific NXT guys, but just looking at last night's Raw, I mean, no Brock Lesnar, no John Cena, no Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, The Undertaker, Rock, you know, none of those guys, Randy, uh, well, obviously some guys are injured, but like Randy Orton, you know, na and name whoever, whoever else. Like, the, I think the only guys on last night's Raw that were, you can consider kind of older guys would be Jericho, and the Dudleys and Vince and Shane get a pass because hell they're you know they're not wrestling wise so they get a pass but I mean I have no problem with either Jericho or the Dudleys and they kind of mess well with everybody else so I didn't even look at that until afterwards like I didn't even notice like those were like you know those older guys you know really until after Raw when I was thinking about it but I mean just look at last night's Raw I mean we got a number one contenders main event that featured AJ Styles uh Chris Jericho uh Kevin Owens and so the returning Cesaro, which was supposed to be Sami Zayn, and luckily I read that it was a, just a, uh, a storyline and not a legit injury for Sami Zayn. The uh, whole uh, thing where Sami Zayn did a dive to Kevin Owens, which I'll talk about like that segment in a second, but um, and was looking like he hurt his arm again, and then Owens took him out uh, in the backstage interviews. People thought they did that because Sami Zayn hurt his arm, but really, uh, from what I read earlier on NoDQ.com, it was only because, uh, one, it was for the storyline of Owens and Sami Zayn, and two, to get Cesaro out there for his uh, return, which, uh, you know, is, is just great because it was awesome seeing Cesaro back. I absolutely love Cesaro, and man, did he was on his A-game last night. It was just absolutely great stuff. That main event was just a whole lot of fun. And of course, in the, in the end, uh, AJ Styles was the one who uh, got the victory and is now the number one contender to face Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. AJ Styles, look at AJ Styles, I mean, he was in TNA for, you know, since the beginning, and then finally in 2013, 2014, left that company, and since then, I mean, he's been around, just being around the world, being around the world, you know, once again, putting on these great matches, proving why he's one of the best in the world, and not just, you know, some guy who's stuck in the impact zone, wrestling a couple times a month, like, in the past five months, AJ Styles has wrestled at Ring of Honor's biggest show of the year. New Japan Wrestling's biggest show of the year, and, of course, the biggest it gets for wrestling in general, WrestleMania. I mean, AJ Styles is absolutely killing it right now. He's putting on awesome matches, and WWE clearly has faith in this guy because, you know, he's being used every week, and he's not just some guy, some scrub in the background. Like, they made a big deal when he debuted at the Rumble, and now look at him. He is the number one contender going on to face Roman Reigns, at which we can all assume will be payback. And that's going to be a great match. AJ and Roman Reigns, I think they're going to mesh really well. The, the, we got a little tease of it in the Rumble match, of course. Uh, so I think that match is just going to be, honestly, like, really great to see. And it's just going to be something different than, you know, anything we've gotten in so long, you know. And even with guys like, you know, whether whether it's a good main event going into it, you know, or not, just think about whatever, you know, title match, you know, in the past few years. Whether it includes, you know, Brock or Cena, it, you know, we've gotten so many fresh talent in the title picture, you know, Seth Rollins, Ambrose, and now we have two very fresh guys in the, the title picture as well as in the uh, new champion, Roman Reigns, and AJ Styles, who's only been in the company for four months now, well, been on TV for about four months now, three months, really, because, you know, he debuted the, pretty much the end of January, but um, that's just awesome stuff, you know, that AJ Styles is going to be getting a number one tenors match. And, I mean, look, look at this. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn going at it right now. I mean, that's going to be such a big-time feud. And I think I like the fact that, that they did the thing with Owens and Sami Zayn last night where Owens beat him up and took him out of the Fatal 4-Way because they're just going to keep teasing it and teasing it that these guys are going to get one-on-one. And I honestly think that they'll have one-on-one -on -one matches beforehand, but the big blow-off match, the big kick-ass match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, even though every match that they probably will have will will be that the big blow off to this whole feud will probably happen honestly at SummerSlam if they're going the route they do if they do it right I mean they didn't do it at WrestleMania hell they were supposed to be in the same match last night and you know I talked about what happened uh I can see them maybe having a match at Extreme or Payback maybe definitely probably Extreme Rules but um yeah I think they'll probably you know the I, this feud has to 
everyone knows that this feud's going to be great and that there's no better place to blow it off months and months down the line or just a few months down the line in, in SummerSlam. So, I mean, that's a big time feud right there that's going to be, you know, headlining at least live events and going to be one of the main, main attractions on shows. And uh, that's just awesome as well. But then also, let's also talk about for these next few minutes, of course, the NXT arrivals pretty much in the past few nights. Uh, WrestleMania, we saw the debut, or the main roster debut, I should say, of Baron Corbin uh, winning the Andre the Giant. More more about a Royals, just absolutely surprised. You know, I saw him in there, and I was like, eh, he might win, but he probably not. But And then he did, and he got a huge pop, and it was awesome seeing Baron Corbin winning, and I'm happy because I, I like Baron Corbin. And then last night on Raw, Shane McMahon's running the show, of course, whatever. Uh, I, I, I know they just did a storyline where he pretty much lost about it. Or lost, you know, the storyline to get control of Raw. But Vince gave him control anyway. But I was like, screw it. It's, you know, I don't care. You know, point is that it, it was cool that Vince was just like, all right, let's see what you got. And then Shane kind of gave the okay to the crowd. Like, all right, let's do this. And you know what? He, If Shane w really was, you know, running Raw, then hell, he gave us a plethora of new talent to uh, look at. So, I mean, Baron Corbin last night got in the ring with Ziggler. It was an okay matchup. Uh, nothing to complain about. I mean, the crowd wasn't really paying attention. They were paying attention to some to some guy who was throwing beach balls around the arena <laughs> that eventually got kicked out apparently but um the match was still fine it went to a double count out and then baron corbin uh hit the end of days on dolph ziggler laying him out on the outside to corbin look strong coming out of it and i thought it was a good way the double count out to advance this feud further because corbin didn't just run over ziggler yet and you know ziggler's gonna want to you know obviously get back at corbin for laying him out after the match so they'll probably they'll probably end up facing at a payback which i'm fine with it'll be a good uh, little matchup for that show and uh baron corbin already off to good things uh, in his main roster career we had the debut of apollo cruz last night uh once they showed they showed the graphic and they were like up next apollo cruz makes his raw debut and then they showed him backstage talking with shane mcmahon i was like this is awesome apollo cruz to me is no doubt a future wwe world heavyweight champion and this guy is literally the full package, just like a couple guys are, honestly, like AJ Styles, in my opinion, Cesaro, in my opinion, is the full package. Apollo Crews is also just everything that I feel like the WWE wants, you know, especially the size, obviously, but considering this guy, you know, it's just the things he can do in the ring are different than, you know, a lot of other big guys that we've seen, and put it, putting him in the ring, you know, it's just... Or not putting him in the ring, but just seeing him in the ring can just absolutely blow your mind. You know, when I first saw him on the Indies, I was like, this guy is awesome. And I'm so glad that he's getting this opportunity now. And I honestly think that Apollo Crews is going to be off to huge things this just this year. I mean, I might make a whole video on that in the next few days, just talking about where I'd see Apollo Crews going from uh, now to WrestleMania 33. Uh, and like I said, I might make a video on that, or my, I might just post some thoughts on Twitter. But we'll see. Follow me on Twitter. You saw it in the beginning of the video. And it's in the description box. But, um... Apollo uh, took on Tyler Breeze. Uh, I wish the match would have gone a little longer, but it is it was what it was. Apollo, of course, had the win, and it was just awesome seeing him making his debut. They also announced that um, the Vaude Villains will be making their debut on SmackDown this Thursday night, obviously being taped tonight, which I was like, man, this is awesome. Uh, Vaude Villains, I love the Vaude Villains. You know, they've kind of been in the background, you know, kind of forgotten a little bit over, uh, you know, the course of however many months, you know, obviously we've had... The arrivals of Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, obviously growing extremely popular. Uh, uh, the revival of, were tag champions, uh, were the guys who beat the Vaude Villains and uh, were tag champions for so long, and they had just been kicking ass with Gable and Jordan. Obviously, Enzo and Castle, we will get to uh, just the most popular team in NXT, like was mentioned on Raw. So the Vaude Villains, uh, along with like Blake and Murphy, are kind of those are kind of teams that are there on NXT, but kind of been faded to the background, but. I don't, know, I don't know about Blake and Murphy, what they're going to be up to uh, as of late. I mean, maybe we'll see on NXT. But point is, Vault Villains making their way to the main roster, and I couldn't be having for them. I absolutely love these guys. So definitely going to be tuning in to SmackDown this week, which most of the time I do. But sometimes I just, I'm like, screw it. I don't really watch SmackDown. But definitely I'm tuning in this week to check out the Vault Villains. Uh, and honestly, I could see the Vault Villains quickly getting a, a title opportunity in the near future because the New Day's contenders... Uh, you know, they beat the League of Nations, League of Nations, and the pretty much blew up last night, kicking out King Barrett, and then the Wise came after him, and all that happened, uh, and that it was what it was. I don't think, you know, the Wyatts and League of Nations is going to be the most amazing feud. I don't really know who wants to see that, but, um, click that battery thing down. But that was what it was. Point is, New Day is going to need some contenders soon, and the Vault Villains would be perfect to, uh, take those tag titles off of the New Day, in my opinion. Or, the other team, which we're about to talk about, Dudley Boys, uh, 
They defeated, yeah, they defeated the Usos in the tables match last night on Raw, even though the finish got screwed up because of the uh, ring bell, whatever, timekeeper, whoever rings the bell, um, which was just hilarious that Bubba started screaming at him. But point is, they won the tables matchup, and then they go to commercial, they come back, the Dudleys are walking up the entrance, and whose music hits? Enzo Amore and Big Cass, they come to the ring, they do their whole spiel, it's absolutely epic, they're ripping apart the Dudleys, and, and Dudleys are about to go fight them, and then they walked away doing the whole heelish thing, and then, of course, uh, Big Cass did the, uh, SAWFT, you know, the rest, um, part of their whole spiel, and that was just awesome, man, Enzo and Cass are, like, like mentioned, you know, the most popular team in NXT, honestly, and I, I'm so happy that they're on the main roster, I think, they weren't going to be getting the NXT title or NXT tag team titles. I think their time passed to win them. Uh, I think they just, you know, kind of got not pushed to the side, but you know, other teams like the Revival and Gable and Jordan just kind of passed them over when it came to tag title runs. So I'm glad they're up on here, uh, are up on the main roster. And you know, like I said earlier, I mean, the tag team division is starting to starting to pick up. You know, we had the New Day and uh, has obviously just been the most popular team for so long, but now we got two new teams coming in. Uh, Pr Primo and Epico, I guess Lost Matadors are goodbye. Primo and Epico are back, pretty much. They had that segment on Raw. I don't know when they're going to be officially returning, but um, I'm fine with that. I, I like Primo and Epico. They're good. So, I mean, it is what it is uh, with that. But um, just to wrap this video up, it's been going a little longer than I like. Just last night's Raw, uh, the plethora of new talent, just the plethora of freshness that we saw. Like I said, even though it wasn't the best Raw, it was just fresh, and it's just, honestly, like, I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen in the next few weeks with, you know, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin, Enzo and Cass, the Vault Villains, AJ Styles, where Cesaro is going to go, where this Owen Sami Zayn feud is going to go, and I'm very interested to see how Roman Reigns' title, title reign is going to go, honestly. I mean, he's, him and AJ Styles are going to be going at it, so that's just going to be good to see. So, um, leave your thoughts in the comments below about all this new uh nxt guys all the all this just freshness that's been going on in, in the wv starting last night really and uh well throughout you know time but really just kicking into high gear last night so leave your thoughts in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys in the next one peace